Hi there. In this video, we are going to see how we can send a post request. Now, as you know, that post request requires you to send request payload, means request body. Now, you can send the normal object in your request payload whose content type would be application forward slash JSON, or you could send multi part form data. As the request body and I'm calling that as complex object so multi part basically means that you are sending multiple objects multiple part in that request so you might be sending the data as well as the the file right not just the plain text so we'll see both these examples in this video now this is a template for a basic post request so the method is going to be HTTP post of course for the endpoint again uh, look out for any documentation that is provided to you by developer or go to them and ask them to provide you all the information authorization so what is authorization that we are using okay and then the request headers uh, when you are sending the request payload uh, the client has to inform to the server that hey I'm the data that I'm sending is following a particular content type okay so if you are sending the json object make sure that you know you set the content type to application forward slash json if you are sending uh, text as well as the file in your request payload make sure that you send the uh, content type to multi-platform data <clears throat> and we'll see that in some cases postman you know understand that automatically and add in the respective header okay so request payload for a normal object is going to be looking like this so as you could see you have the http verb post then the endpoint and if you have any auth authorization set uh, then you have to pass that information in here and you're going to select uh, you're going to click on the body tab and then select raw from this list going to select json and then you're going to pass your request payload okay and then is your file upload in the file upload you could see that in the body rest all remain the same but in the body you could see you're going to select form data and going to provide the file okay so now let's see that into postman okay so before we actually start with this we missed one part in the last video which is to do with the uh, headers in the get request so here if you could see that uh, currently when i'm sending this request the response is in in the format of json and to verify that go to the response header content type and you see it's application forward slash json right what if you want to uh, get the response in the form of xml then you require to pass in one header accept and then you say application forward slash xml yeah so when you send that you go to the body and now you see the response which you have received is in the form of xml and the header would be application forward slash xml now this is not going to work in all the cases because in my case i have implemented that so if your developers have implemented it then only it is going to behave like this okay so i missed that in my last video so i've added that now let's come to the agent item of this video so now i have to create a post request so let me add the post request here itself and i'm going to add a request i'm going to say post an animal and click on save to animals now let me just copy paste the path so it is going to be api forward slash animals okay so now i have to send the body uh, of course uh, i need to pass in the authorization so the basic authentication user one and again the super secret password uh, i go to the body and i select raw i 
select json here now what do i have to send i need the help of the documentation again so let me open that uh, and let's see what it is asking me to send so this is something that i have to send okay so now let me come here with the copy paste and let me say you know um rabbit uh, and speed is I'm not sure just give any random value 35 and lifespan let's say uh, 18 okay and uh, let's hit the send button and now you see okay so again a mistake that I made is it is the get and not post so I have to change it to post you can send and now you see a new animal is created into the database okay so go to the header we have not added anything into the request header section but see what postman has done is based on what you have entered into your body so whatever you have selected right postman automatically adds a header content header forward slash application json okay so that covers the normal object part uh, we have to create now one more and this is going to be upload our file and let's click on that so what is going to be url of this so let me copy it from my slide and this is going to be the url again this is one of my website uh, when web api that i've created to upload a file quickly uh, go to my postman and again anytime you create a request okay the default http method being set is get make sure this time we update it to post okay so for this particular endpoint i have not implemented any authorization so let me open that first and go to the go to this folder because my file will be uploaded here so click on that and it is empty currently okay so now let us send the request now first of all go to your body select form data and now see here you have a drop down click on that you see an option of file but if you click inside this text box then you'll not see that option because it means that you have your value is a text that you are passing all right so since it is not a text make sure they click outside and click on this drop down select the file right you select the click on this button and let's say you select golden and that's the name of it and go to your header and see what postman has done for us content type multi-part form data and boundary part this is going to be calculated automatically when request is sent so whenever we are sending file uh, in the request payload we also have to provide the boundary right just imagine if you have to do it on your own it's going to be really tough you have to find out the boundary size right uh, and to check that let's see let's open that let's open the console i'd like to inspect that okay so now i'm hitting the send button let's wait for this to come up yeah it's clean click on send okay and look at the response okay this is my response file uploaded successfully let's check that yeah so the file is uploaded to this location great and now hit back to our console to check the request headers being sent now see postman has done all the hard work for you okay so you didn't provide the content type you didn't provide the boundary value it has auto generated that for you while sending the request all right so that's how you're going to work on your normal objects and your multi-part form object okay uh, so yeah thank you so much thanks for watching see you in the next video